Throw him into the pit. Oh no, oh, no. Anything, anything but the pit. The pit. Oh. 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 Well, well, now I'm now stuck I'm in the stuck pit. pit. I have, I no, have choice no choice but to but sit to down sit and down watch. And watch. Jurassic World Dominion. Yeah, what an incredible movie. Good grief, what is there to say? Ah, oh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it up to this chap who can sum up this production far more eloquently than I could ever hope. That is one big pile of shit. Okay, let's get serious. So, what is Jurassic World Dominion a movie about? Well, that's a good question, because I'm still thinking about it myself. What was Jurassic World Dominion about? Well, from what I can see, it's a movie about giant locusts. There, yeah, there it is. That's what it's about. It's about a swarm of giant locusts threatening to destroy the world, apparently. Oh, yes, they're, they're being bred by this evil company. There's a mad scientist and he's breeding up a, a great swarm of terrible locusts and he's sending them out on the world and the locusts are devouring all of the world's food resources and they're tearing apart the natural environment. It's, it's a disaster. It's terrible. How are we going to stop these locusts? That's the question. Well, we're going to bring in our, our old heroes. We're going to bring in classic characters from the original Jurassic Park movies. Why not? Let's bring them back. Let's dig them up from their graves and, and give them a new exciting role in this battle to save the world from, from giant insects. And, and, also we'll, uh, and also we'll bring back the cast of, of the, uh, the other Jurassic World movies. We'll bring back our... Oh yes, our boy Chris, he's back and he's quite a prat in this movie. That's for certain. He's leading the way. He's leading the charge against these dreadful giant locusts. He's the only man that can save the world from these awful insect monsters. Ah, oh, such a thrilling movie. So incredible. How are they going to defeat this terrible monster? I, I really don't know. And so our ensemble of characters drawn from the different Jurassic Park movies, they get together and they set out on their adventure. They've got to invade and, and penetrate the, the laboratory where they're breeding these insects. They have to destroy the insects. Oh, it's so intense. They have to beat the bad guy. They've got to get him. They've got to stop him. Oh, yeah. And there's a couple of dinosaurs here and there filling up the scenery. Every now and then you'll be treated to the, the sight of uh, a Diplodocus or a Brontosaurus or whatever it was. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex charging around, tearing up a cinema screen for some reason. For reasons I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Raptors are running around. There's a Mosasaurus in the oceans attacking fishermen at will. And it appears that the government is doing diddle dee dumb about it! There's dinosaurs all over the place, even in cities. There are dinosaurs wrecking cities. And, and the government is, is... What are they doing at this point? Well, that's the question. That's what I would like to know. But we don't get to know anything. All that we know is that there is a swarm of, of giant insects out there tearing up the environment. And the dinosaurs, well, to hell with them. I mean, who cares? <laughs> who cares if a great big brontosaurus walks into your garden and takes a great big shizer on the top of your house no one apparently no one gives a damn you know i never liked that idea about them trading dinosaurs at the end of the fallen kingdom and when the dinosaurs all broke out of that mansion house at the end of that movie and, and then they invaded the the world you know the common place where the people live I, I just i didn't buy it i didn't buy it and i didn't like it i mean there's only a handful of dinosaurs what what are they going to do when they get out there into the civilized world when they when they get into civilization and start interacting with people and other animals what what's i mean come on it, let's let's think about this logically i know it's a movie and you have to suspend disbelief for this movie i can't suspend disbelief if there are dinosaurs roving and roaming around cities you know what's going to happen the government is going to send in the army and they're going to annihilate them the dinosaurs would become extinct again that's that's exactly what would happen Right? I'm not being funny here. I'm, I'm not trying to create a comedy scenario. The dinosaurs would be exterminated. You're not going to allow, the government is not going to allow a Tyrannosaurus Rex to roam around at will. Attacking people. Terrorizing people. It's just not going to happen. It's utterly ridiculous. And quite frankly, it's a farce at this point. 
But it's never covered, it's never talked about. It, do it just doesn't make sense. It makes about as much sense as the army recruiting dinosaurs, which has been the theme of the last two movies, Jurassic World and its sequel. It has this thing going on about the army wanting to use dinosaurs as weapons. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to use a raptor as a weapon against enemy soldiers. It's stupid. It's beyond stupid. You might as well recruit a leopard, because a leopard is larger and it is far more deadly and, without doubt, more intelligent than a raptor. A raptor in real life was the size of a chicken and it had the brain of a rabbit. Yeah, a rabbit. That's what it would have acted. It, it, a raptor would have behaved like a rabbit in a field. It would have just flopped about. What are you going to do? You know. You might as well stick a gun to the head of a rabbit and send it out to the enemy. Oh, here we go. We'll send in our horde of rabbits. The rabbits would probably cause more devastation than a raptor because the rabbits would probably eat food stocks and deprive your enemy of their food supplies. It's just so dumb. I mean, sending in an elephant would be more effective than sending in a dinosaur. I mean, that's what Hannibal did and he almost brought down Rome. You don't need dinosaurs. If you want to use animals in the army, you don't need dinosaurs. You can just use regular animals like what we have in the world today, right now. Yes, this idea of recruiting dinosaurs is stupid. I'm sorry, I've gone off on a tangent, sort of, because well, the reason why I've gone off on a tangent because there's no point talking about the storyline of Jurassic World Dominion because it doesn't have a storyline. It's just stupid. It's just an excuse to have lots of flashy special effects, bring back the old character, pull nostalgia strings. Oh, look, there's Alan Grant and, you know, there's Ellie. I wonder if they're going to get together after... <laughs> How many years? 30 odd years? Are they going to get together and have children? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? No! I don't care about any of that. Oh, and there's a Giganotosaurus. Apparently the largest carnivore in the dinosaur kingdom. Really? I, I really, I thought it was Spinosaurus. I thought that was the largest carnivorous dinosaur. But then what do I know? Now, folks, here's the question. Would you like to have a sequel to Jurassic World Dominion? Absolutely not. Well, tough, because you're gonna get one. <laughs> Die! Extinct. Oh, you know, actually, I think the dinosaurs who, who are legitimately extinct are more alive than this franchise is currently. In all seriousness, please. I, I love dinosaurs. I, I want to see dinosaur movies, but I don't want to see any more Jurassic World movies. This, this franchise is done. Come up with a new idea. Create a new dinosaur movie series. Stop making Jurassic World movies. They don't work anymore. It's done. It was done at the end of Jurassic Park, the original movie. That movie was perfect. It had everything you needed. It, it, it told its story. There's only 20 minutes of dinosaur footage in the whole two hours of that movie. It was enough. It's what we needed. It, it, the story has been done. It's been told. You can't expand on Jurassic Park. It, it, it's ostensibly... It, it's a horror movie, horror action movie about a park that breaks down. That's, that's it. It's done. There's nothing more you can do. Just stop this uh, recruiting dinosaurs into the army. Stop trying to bring dinosaurs back to civilization. It's silly. It won't work. It, it, it's just not interesting. It's, it's, it's got to stop. Make it stop. All right. Oh, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you for listening to this little rant. And good luck out there.